Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be looking at the Black Series Jubac that came out within the last, I want to say two to three months, um, probably closer to three, maybe even four months. Um, I've had this for almost a couple of months myself, so I've spent a bit of time with it, um, mainly just displaying. I haven't really taken it out and stuffed around with it or anything, so... Um, yeah, I've been looking forward to sharing this one. So we'll just have a quick look at the box. Um, you can see on the side there is number four. A little right up on the back. This is just various images on the back of the box. It's the same size box as we had for Ray Speeder and Luke Speeder. That series logo. Artwork there of the Sand Trooper on the Jubac. And then just a couple of images on the front as well, as well as the window box for the trooper. But that's cool. So yeah, let's let's just zoom in and have a look at the sand trooper first. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Let's try and get this right at some stage. Uh, yeah, um, the Sand Trooper is pretty good. Um, it's not as good as its previous incarnations that we've had uh, in the, throughout the Black Series line. We had one in the first, very first wave in 2013. We've had one in a four pack, which came with other Imperial troops. And then we had a single packed one in the blue line, the blue wave of um, Black Series six inch figures as well. So we've had, we've had a couple of tastes and uh, this third one is it's sort of lacking a little bit. It's for some reason the plastic, he looks plasticky. Um, I don't know how to describe it. If you've got one in hand, compare it with one of your older ones if you've got both. And uh, yeah, just the plastic almost looks a little bit gummy. Um, it's not as sharp in, uh, with the paint, uh, sort of the white undercoat. I'm not sure whether the others were painted white. Um, I don't believe so. I think it was just a different plastic that's used for this one. And it's almost just, it almost looks a little bit looking off. It just looks plasticky. That's the best way I can put it. I'm not going to try and say any more because uh, otherwise the sculpt's good. The weathering's pretty good. Uh, the accessories are good. Um, it is the blaster rifles I've got in the accessory box. So I haven't got them to show you. The backpack is an issue I've had with them since the beginning. Um, Hasbro 10, the way they've tooled the all the peg on the back of the backpack to slot into their back um, makes the backpack sit a little bit too high. Um, sand troopers generally have it down like this. Um, I use reference material from the film um, to line up when I did that a couple of years ago, you know, four or five years ago when I first did the uh, custom for the first sand trooper. Just it just bugged me. Um, the help backpack to sit sit up a little bit too high. Um, the three and three quarter sand troopers have never had that problem that I'm that I can remember. But um, yeah, I was hoping they might have fixed the tooling, but I can sort of see with this one it sits up because it's got this sort of pouch on the back of the jubac. It wouldn't have sat very well anyway, and I do have that slight issue now with the backpack just a little bit too high, and maybe I should have left it for this one. But that's okay. It's not too bad. Um, I can live with it. But. Uh, yeah, that's just one little issue I've had with the Sand Troopers. Otherwise, they look fantastic. The weathering, like I said, the weathering on this one is great. They've done a good job painting. It's just the look of the plastic. It just looks a little bit gummy, um, which is a little disappointing. But, you, you know, with this set, you're mainly going for the Jubac. So, we'll give you a brief, quick look at him. I'm not going to change his uh, pose because I want to make it easy to throw him back on the, on the Jubac when I'm done. So he's got some good weathering throughout the armor. And I've, I've glued that ammo pouch on and the uh, pauldron. So I'll just put him aside. And we'll take a look at old Dewey over here. That's what I'm calling him. <laughs> uh, this is this is one of the better Jewbacks I've seen. Um, the only Jubac I have in three and three quarter inch is the one that was part of the 2011-12 Discover the Force line, which I'm not sure if that was new. I can't remember 
but it was one of the weird looking longer neck Dubax and uh, yeah the power of the force one was more like this um, the solid neck like solid upper upper neck here um, I'm just sort of gla glancing over at the other one on the shelf just to see the difference whereas the other ones would have a bit of a longer neck and a smaller head at the end but um, yeah I really really dig this <laughs> this is so cool I really like that. I've always liked the Dubax excuse me I'll point the camera down and just the level of detail on this thing is sweet it's really really good um, yeah, I think that popped off I think it clipped on though the saddle so just have a look at this, like the saddle bags they've made a, they've got a bit of fur sort of in there sort of a rug roll on the back there a couple of other bags on the other side sort of a good weathering leather seat for the saddle there and the straps go all the way underneath as well as the harness there around the neck I suppose that would be a bridle, I think that's what it is. But uh, yeah, this thing is pretty impressive. The, the sculpting detail is fantastic. Let's just get a close up there of his face. And uh, a little bit of a grin there. His mouth opens and his tongue is articulated as well. Which is cool. And uh, yeah, he's all painted up inside too. These top teeth, and the bottom there, very nicely done, Hasbro. I've seen some guys repaint this thing, give it a lot of extra detail. Um, I think it's pretty good the way it is. It's a toy. I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. Good range of movement. Very good range of movement, actually. Uh, the sort of head can sort of twist and swivel moves up and down a little bit I could see the mouth opens as well Eww. tail sort of got a bit of range of movement side to side a little bit of up and down as well which is nice and uh, the legs which uh, the swivels on the back legs there I'm pretty sure it's the same on the front the swivel on the back, so that sort of joint there, and then ankle sort of joint, and then it's got these extra toe joints as well, so you can pose them up a little bit when he's lifting one up in the air, he's taking a step. Now, sorry, the front legs they do have an extra ball joint in there. I need to get some pour some hot water on this side because that one's really tight, and I don't want to pull it so much that it breaks. Um, got it moving a little bit but there's probably just a little bit of extra plastic in the joint a um, little bit of hot water boiling water run through there which should uh, loosen that up a little bit for me but again not too fast but uh, it's all good yeah I really like this thing cool beast hope it opens up more opportunities for more beasts of this size in the future we've had the Tauntaun and Wampa now we've got the Dewback Got a couple of cool speeders. Um, yeah, do you guys have any requests for something in this sort of scale, like with a figure and vehicle set? A um, couple of my personal wants would be an episode two Anakin and uh, his speeder from Attack of the Clones. I think that would be quite cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that would be that would be cool. Um, and Han Solo from Solo with his speeder. I think that would be cool as well on uh, Corellia there so yeah um, this is the Dewback I hope you've enjoyed this video guys stay again stay tuned for when I'm finished here and I'll tack a little clip of of my little display so thanks for watching as always until my next video may the force be with you all right here is my uh, little sand trooper and Dewback setup um, sort of just the shelf where I've got all my little deluxe sets and small displays so um, 
Yeah, I thought it was a perfect spot to add the other uh, sand troopers into this, this this shelf as well. So it's a pretty cool. I can't remember what they are by rank. This is the first one that came out. What's the second one? And this one was part of that trooper four pack. We have the new guy. 